What's up guys? Today we're gonna be playing with lasers. Pew 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 pew. Pew pew, this is just a spud gun, but pew pew. So we're gonna be checking out two different mods today. Both of them add laser guns to the game. So let's hop right into the first one and see what it's like. So first things first, I'm putting up walls of different materials to test how the laser actually works. And this first mod actually comes with its own brand new blocks that's supposed to be laser blocking. So you can see my hop bar here, there's a spud gun, shotgun, gatling gun, uh, but these are actually the lasers, so they don't actually have a custom model, and there's also mountable versions. So let's just go over to this wood block and uh, point and click. Zap. We just deleted a block. Zap. It works on glass, works on metal. I think it works on just about anything, except for this stuff. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! That's right, the block description here says it has a shield to protect against lasers. That looks pretty cool. This one too. So then the Gatling laser is like exactly what you expect. It uh, just does a continuous fire of lasers. Let's see if I go like super fast. Like, here up! Yeah, so it's exactly like you would expect. It's uh, very fast, short bursts of the original spud gun. Like as if you just had this on machine gun mode. But this is also pretty good too if you want precision for your work. Let's just clean up the mess that I made real quick. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. The shotgun laser does something a little bit different. If you just point and click, bam, it deletes the entire thing. The, <laughs> the entire, oh my gosh, the entire wall is just gone. So wait, 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 if I do something like this, There you go, there you go. So I got a loose piece of metal on top of this piece of metal. Is it gonna get both if I point right in between? No, it just deletes one big chunk at a time. What if I have a huge wall? Like a huge thing that just keeps on going and going and going and going. And what if I shoot the shotgun laser over here? Yep, the entire thing disappears. All right. What about this wall? Nope, it's got that protection. And the most durable block in the game? Nothing against this laser. So I am kind of curious then, what could you do with that? You could probably do something like, um, let me see, let me see, watch, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay, so for this test, I have a special message written on the shielded blocks. So even if I try to laser them, they are shielded, but obviously the wood blocks, not shielded. So what happens if I use the shotgun on this? Is it gonna delete everything? Or are the shielded blocks still gonna be protected? Let's try it. Oh, that's okay, so it still gets rid of them as long as where you're pointing is still destructible by this laser. So as you can see, there are also mounted spud gun versions of these lasers. I put one of them on here on a bearing on a spinning stick. Let's see how it goes. Oh, there's no effect for these mounted guns just for the handheld tools. But hey, that's a cool way to cut out a perfect circle. Really, it's an octagon, but... All right, well, I think we're done with this. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. And these shielded blocks have such a cool effect. I'm pretty sure that's from the game, but like, I have no idea where. That's a really cool effect. Let's see what happens if I try to do this. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my game's lagging. Oh, but that's so cool. Oh, that, <laughs> yes, it's uh, very laggy, but very worth it. I like it. Real quick, real quick, one thing that I want to test out is the range of these laser guns. Uh, so let's just go all the way back here. Boop, you can still hit the, you can still hit the wood block. Boop, you can still hit it. Okay, you can't hit it from back here. Jeez, I don't know, like 128 blocks? 256 blocks? I have no idea. It's, it's pretty far, though. But you can't aim at stuff, like, across the map. And the trees, you can't really hit the trees either. So this is the laser gun mod by Laz. I don't think it's actually quite finished yet. It's a kind of a work in progress. So they are still planning to update it, I think. And I think it's pretty cool. So because it's a work in progress, I can't actually give too much feedback because... I mean, a lot of the feedback that I'm gonna give is pretty much like, where are the, where are the effects for the mounted spud guns? I'm sure they're working on it. Maybe the only thing that I could say is like, it would be neat to have a custom gun model, something that looks like a laser gun, 
Overall, I think it's a fantastic mod, and I can't wait until it's fully finished. So for the next laser gun mod, let's go ahead and put down some more blocks to test the durability that these lasers can destroy. And I'm pretty sure that these laser shielded blocks only apply to the first laser gun model that we saw, so so this next laser gun model will probably be able to destroy these. This mod is called Laser Cutter on the Steam Workshop by Vaj Danny. So just like the other one, it has a mountable version. We'll go ahead and uh, try that in a bit. The handheld version does have a custom model, although it looks exactly like the... It's just a copy of the Kinect tool. They do have the satellite dish on there, that's kind of a classic with a laser gun look. Not sure what the things on the sides are for. If they're modifying the, uh, the Kinect tool model, couldn't they have just gotten rid of the stuff on the sides? Make it look more like a pistol? Like, like an actual gun? I, I'm confused by the things on the sides. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just uh, fire some lasers. So the net block, I'm kind of curious because this could also be like a shielding block. If it acts like a Faraday cage where it blocks the wavelength. Nope. Nope. This is also uh, very different from the previous laser guns that we saw. I think this works a little bit faster, more of like a continuous thing. Let's go really fast on the glass blocks to see. Yep. Okay, so there is some kind of like tick rate. But you can do it if you just slow your roll down a little bit. You can get... <laughs> It's hitting multiple blocks at the same time, too. But you can cut out all different kinds of shapes if you really wanted to. As a matter of fact, if you had just like a solid chunk of wood. Just solid chunk of wood. That's built on the ground. Okay. Also, real quick, let's just test the tier 3 metal. Not a match against this laser. No match at all. Wait, 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 wait. So if I just did a column and shot at the bottom. What? What was that? What? What was that? What's happening? This happens when I crouch. What is happening? <laughs> what is that? Hold on, did the, did, did the part say anything? Robots also vulnerable to the laser beam. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool, but like... Oh, oh, is that how you make the robots vulnerable to the laser beam? This would also mean that walks are vulnerable to it too, right? If you hit something, it spawns a potato in its place. But it's not hitting the player. So I get to see the potato- what? I think that's what's happening, so... It's registering a hit, like as if I'm a robot, but the spots aren't hitting me. I thought this was something that, like, just happens when you crouch. Also, did the shielded blocks actually... Yeah, no, these shielded blocks don't block this laser. Okay, so, don't crouch, because you're gonna hit yourself in the head. <laughs> that's a little bit... that's a little bit silly. <laughs> Uh, what I wanted to test was, if you just hit the bottom block here like this. Oh, that's cool, you can just eat the entire column. So, this, back to this giant wood chunk. If you had this giant wood chunk, can you just like, carve out? Just sort of like, hit the edges, cause like, you don't want to go inside the center. Well, do you? Do you? I don't know. Let's see how much it takes to, to go in the middle. I think I just went through to the outside. So let's go right up against the wall and just clear everything that uh, that I can in this sort of like cone area. It's gonna be a big circle on one side, small circle on this side. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looking through a small hole, you can just make a giant cone that's cool. So if you wanted to put your art skills to the test, you could spend the time sort of sculpting, slowly chipping away around the outside, just get the shapes exactly how you want. Really do your work of art from a giant block of stone or something. You know, something that this other laser gun mod is convenient for is the cleanup. Oh, that's such a powerful effect. I suppose you could also clean up with this too. 
Oh, 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 that's a little strange. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I think I found another sort of bug. Third person's all right, but first person, you can see, <laughs> you can see they're just using a mini pipe model. Just because you're, you're moving around. The laser beam detaches a little bit. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, that was also strange, too. If you, uh, point at a block and then, like, quickly turn away. Oh, okay, that's, uh... The laser beam is kind of attached to its target point. Let's try that mountable version. All right, very similar setup to before. Let's go ahead and push the button and see how this works. So this one does have an effect. Let's try to speed up that engine too, like by a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, it can't exactly get, <laughs> can't exactly go too fast. Oh, okay. And the effect is very similar to the mounted version. This looks like a much thicker pipe as well. Let's just add some more blocks here to, to, to cut out. So I think that's slow enough for a single block, reliably. And let's also see, can you attack trees? No, you cannot. You cannot uh, do anything to trees. Let's see the active range of this thing. Um, that uh, Those blocks are kind of far away. Can I use my laser? I cannot. What about now? I can, oh, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. We finally got sort of like the active range 16 32 some other number approximately 64 blocks all right let's get that shotgun again and do some cleanup oh that's never gonna get old <laughs> that's never gonna get old all right so that was taking a look at these two laser gun mods pew pew as far as feedback goes i think that these uh, mods are highly experimental and maybe they're not even finished yet so uh, there's not really too much that i can say i think any laser gun mod would benefit from a custom gun model that actually kind of looks like a laser gun this one down here is definitely a step in the right direction i'm not sure about uh, it looks a little bit too much like the connect tool in my opinion the mounted gun just does not look like a laser gun at all so for both of these mods I would suggest that the mod makers just Google, like, image search uh, what a laser gun actually looks like. There's so much imagery of that sort of thing. If you think about, like, video games that have, like, aliens, you know, fighting against humans and they have their guns, it's always going to be, like, a, a classic sort of laser gun look. So the satellite dish was, like, the step in the right direction type of thing. I think the blocks that have a laser shield on it is incredible. I think that's actually super cool. The effect on it was really good, but shooting too many lasers at it definitely lags your game a little bit. It'd be kind of cool if uh, these mods had like a custom effect instead of reusing a lot of the game's effects. Although I don't really mind that these guns are using some of the same effects from challenge mode. Yeah, other than that, there's not a whole lot that I can really say about it. Like it's, it seems like it's a experimental mod. I'm not sure if custom tools is fully supported in scrap mechanics. So you, you know, you take what you can get type of thing. Like the laser not exactly going to, you know, where you're pointing it. And the laser effect like moving around with the player movement. I think that's uh, just sort of to be expected with a highly experimental mod. So each of these mods comes with their pros and cons, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of the laser gun mod or the laser cutter mod? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. That's all that we're checking out for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.